All right, marathon now two days away to get us ready. We've got a former champ, a two-time Olympic medalist. He's Galen Rupp. He's an awesome dude to talk to. Okay, so you were telling me your average time when you go out and run a marathon is what? It's about 450 a mile, give or take. Like, that's insane how fast that is. And your fastest mile ever in your life is 350. Yep, yeah. So when you take off, how hard are you running at the start, and then do you ease into it, or ease into it and then pick it up? We usually try to, you know, make sure that you're keeping it a little mellow at the start. Um, it's obviously a mad dash off the line. You know, you want to make sure you get a good position, and there's tons of adrenaline flowing. You know, that's one of the things I always loved about Chicago is that you have such great energy at the start, and there's this big anticipation. You've been training for months and months to get ready for this one day. So I think it's natural to get off hard, but you really want to settle in as soon as possible. Um, I was, you know, my mantra was like being a ghost for the first half of the race. I really didn't want to be seen on camera. I want to be tucked away in the pack and, and really just see how easy can I get to halfway because the true race for the elite section, it doesn't really start until 20 miles. Okay, so is there any point elite, you're the best American runner Ever, one of the greatest in the history of the world. Is there a moment in a 26 point, uh, 26 mile marathon that you are hitting a wall? Oh, absolutely. I think like any elite that tells you it's easy all the way through or they don't have those doubts, they're lying. Um, you know, I go through those. It's totally normal to have, you know, start to question things and, and question, can I make it? Can I hold this pace? You know, I've still got 10 miles to go and I feel awful right now. And for me, you know, the biggest thing has always been about trying to stay present. And I've counted mile markers. I've counted light posts, just any small um, you know, marker I can get, mind. yeah, to get keep myself going, and and you learn that you know you can work through these things. You can't run 10 miles all at once. So when you're thinking I've got 10 miles to go, all you can really focus on is that next step, that next breath, even. And and I really try to stay present when I'm running the marathon and, and keep my mind calm and, and work through those difficult times. So I remember talking to the manager of the Cubs when they finally won the World Series, and he had this mantra: one batter, one pitch, one out at a time. He said, if you worry, oh, God, if I strike out here and the next guy makes it, we're not going to. He said, just worry about that pitch. Absolutely. And once it's gone, Tom Brady says the same thing, one snap at a time. Same deal you're telling us. It's just extra stress. I mean, it's, it's totally normal for your mind to want to wander, you know, and, and start thinking like, ah, oh, you know, I'm, I'm a little sore in my quad. You know, is this going to hinder me or how can I hold this for another 10 miles, 12 miles to go. I mean, the marathon's a brutal event, but you can only control what you can control in that one moment. Again, you're not gonna run those miles all at once. All you can focus on is that next mile, that next water station, that next block, whatever it is that milestone is. And sometimes you've gotta break it down to these really small goals. But I did a lot of work um, at the military in the past and they had a saying that you could, how do you eat an elephant? It's one bite at a time. It seems like a massive task all at once, but you've got to just chip away at it. And that's always the attitude that I've had. So how did you get into this? And what you just told us applies even to a novice who's running their first marathon, right? Yeah, I mean, the marathon is such a journey. And I think that's one thing that all runners share. And, and you know, we all have that journey building up to the marathon. And it's such a metaphor to so many things that you deal with in life. You know, that's one of the things that I've always loved about running is that it teaches you about goal setting, discipline, and there's no way around getting around the work. You know, it's not like you can be blessed with a, you know, buttery jump shot that is always going to be there. You have to put in the work and all the miles to get to, to get to the finish line. And, you know, so much goes into that one day, but when you hit it right, it's the best feeling ever. Are there moments in a race, and I mean, you've got all these records and you won here and you're gonna run, I think, in New York. Are there moments in a race you go, I got this one today, where you know, yes. I had a very eerie feeling. I remember warming up in 2017 before the marathon here where I said, I'm, I'm gonna win today. You know, there was just something in the air and jogging, you know, feeling the way my body felt like I had so much confidence in my buildup and I was like, I'm ready to do this. Um, and there's definitely points, you know, even in that 2017 race where I was like, well, maybe I got a little ahead of myself warming up there. And, you know, you got to just bring it back to that one moment, you know, and, and execute. And for me, that was about sitting back in the pack and, and really running the hell out of the last five miles of that race, which is exactly what I did. Okay, so you're 36. Mm -hmm. Is there something you want to accomplish 
You've won in Chicago. You're going to run in New York. You've won all these great races. you got a great career. Is there something you haven't done you want to do? Well, I've got a silver and a bronze medal, so I think getting a gold medal is, is still uh -huh. the ultimate goal in the Olympics. Um, you know, I would love to get the American record in the marathon. Um, it's, it's a little tricky because, you know, so much depends on, you know, wind and uh, pacing, weather, different things like that, that I've never been too focused on time. You know, winning has always been my, my top priority. You know, uh -huh. that's why I do this. I love to compete. Uh -huh. um, but, you know, I, I think as far as goals, I really just want to see how far I can take it. You know, it's one of the cool things about running is that it is such a personal journey. It you know, is. it's obviously an individual sport, but you really get so much out of all the work that you put in and, and trying to find, you know, excellence in every day, you know, whether that's sleeping, recovery, training, lifting, you know, treatment, taking care of my body. I still feel like I have a lot of good years left and, and I, I still feel like the best is yet to come. So for someone watching this, well, I'm never going to be that guy, but I'd like to complete a marathon. It's on their bucket list. Mm -hmm. How do you get into it? How do you do it? How do you train for it? I think just starting out slow. You know, I think a mistake a lot of people make is that they, you know, it's, it's great to be gung-ho and really into the training, but it's better to be consistent and do a little bit less and slowly build up. You know, um, training is really a lot like the race where it's a very long, slow build. You know, you can't be so amped up and, and waste everything in that first part. Um, so when you get into training and you start that training block, you know, try to plan it out, give yourself plenty of time. Um, you know, for me, I usually like to have a good 12, 15 week buildup for one race in a marathon, but it's, it's a slow build. You know, if you give your body too much too soon, that's when you get hurt. That's when things get really sore. Um, and it can be really hard emotionally and mentally to keep going. So it's better to be consistent and do a little bit less um, and just build up over time and, and have a good plan. Last thing, farthest you've ever run. Just, I'm going for longer in a marathon. I think the longest run I did was, uh, was 34 or 35 miles um, in one go. So I only yeah. did that once. I've gone 30 a couple times in training, but. Uh, Pretty crazy. Yeah. <laughs> hey man, thanks for being here. Thank you so much Appreciate for having it. me. Congrats on an amazing career.